how are you guys continuing to make your mark in this ever-changing musical mad climate? I say just be yourself and keep it all the way 100. As long as you keep it 100 with your, with your music and do what yeah. you do with your music, everything else, you know what I'm saying, fall in place. Because a lot of people can't relate to a lot of music that's being put out right now. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, you, you just said it, you know what I'm saying? It felt like I was in the back seat of the car listening to y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of other people make their music. And it don't feel like you, you know what I'm saying? It don't feel like you're in the back seat. It feel like you're just listening to music. Right. And, a, and a lot of these people, they hard not into it. They don't love it. They don't love the, the talent, you know what I mean? So right. if I believe if you love the talent, you keep doing it. You can keep doing it forever, you know what I mean? But a lot of these cats, they get in it for the wrong reasons. Being at the money or whatever clout or juice they think they're going to, you know, gain. But you hear a good record today and then tomorrow, they know where to be heard of. But if you last in all 20 years in the game, you know, that's substance right there. Speak you know, it speaks for itself, speaks value. So that's what keeps us going. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about Chicago rap overall. Mm -hmm. I remember for a long time, that was nothing out of Chicago. Mm -hmm. And then came you guys, Common, Twister, Crucial Conflict. Yeah. And, and then, bam, those were the like really notables, right? Yeah. And then Kanye came and he got it popping. Yeah. And now the hinges, the hinges have flown, flown off the door. The door has flown off the hinges. Yeah, yeah. You got Chance the Rapper, you got Kodak Black, you got uh, Chief Keith. Mm -hmm. You got a number of cats yeah. out there doing that thing. Herbo, you got Lil Dirk, G Herbo, all them cats, yeah. Ex exactly, to yeah. my point. What changed besides you guys coming in and doing what you, was, you, were, you were doing? Like, what, what really changed to make people really start looking at Chicago and giving those artists a shot? Social media. Yeah. Social media changed the game. Once, once, that, once they seen Chief Keith in, uh, in a house, in uh -huh. one room, snap, like, and get a million views, yeah. social media just changed the game. Yeah. And, and you know, because you don't even, you don't, I mean, you know, back then, think about it. We was getting movie crews to do videos. Here they come with one camera in one place yeah. with their shirt off just doing yeah. them. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that changed the game. Yeah. It did. So, yeah, it definitely changed the game. And then it, it, it hit at the right time because now you had a president, uh, uh, you know, Obama was running. President Obama was running just, you know, from Chicago. Right. So he was running for president at that time. Like the whole I was like on Chicago at that moment, you know what I mean? Everything was like, you know, centered right there. So it was great. It was a great opportunity for the younger cast to come in and okay, the eye on us right now. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna, we're gonna take off. And then Kanye, I think credit was a huge part of that too because he was grabbing a lot of people and uh, doing things. Y'all work, work with Kanye in the past, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. How was yeah. it like? How was it like working with Duke? Man, it was it was great because he he understood, you know what I'm saying? The same thing I said to you, which uh we stood on your shoulders, he knew that he was standing on our shoulders. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he and he showed a lot of respect, you know, and he admired the fact that he got a chance to work with us as well as we work with him. Yeah. Now you guys knew Kanye before Kanye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. before Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. When you see the new Kanye, this 2.0 Kanye, the dude that's flip-flopping and making outrageous yeah. claims and comments like slavery was a choice and stuff like that, how do you feel about that considering that you knew him before all those, before he was a so-called free thinker? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's all about who you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. 
I'm saying if you surround yeah. yourself with the real, the real, you're gonna give the real. If you surround yourself with the people who feel like, well, we're just gonna make this the 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 you know what I'm saying, the outlook of it. That's gonna be your outlook. Your you, the people you hang with, the five people you hang close with will give you your outlook of who you are and what you do and what you're about. Uh -huh. So it all depends on who you hang around. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then if you're not strong enough, not saying that he's not, but if you're not strong enough or you don't have that foundation around you, like he said, to, as we would say, um, put it in check, put a situation in check, then you gonna you can go all out, you know, because money gonna change you, women gonna change you, uh, uh, the wrong types of people can change you. So you need a balance there. Yeah. You need somebody to be able to say, no, nah, dog, that ain't it, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, this ain't, we ain't on that, but Ye wasn't having that. And I believe after he lost his mom, I think like a lot of things affected him. And he, I don't, I don't believe that he had the right people around him at the time mm -hmm. to, uh, um, you know, uh, help him um, think with a clearer mind state. I don't think he had that around him. Right. Yeah. What you think, Will? Well, I think he's a rhyme. Start with C, rhymes with moon. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, listen, man. My thing is, like, we're the most marginalized group on the planet. Mm -hmm. Black. We have a lot of people hate us just because of what we look like, period. And mm -hmm. that's because America has done a great job at assassinating our character. And, and the image of black people, but specifically the black man. Mm -hmm. So when you have people that go out and make inflammatory statements to undermine our plight, uh, to me, they, they become an enemy. I don't care how many sneakers they sell, how many records they've sold. Yeah, you can make a record. Yeah, you dope, you're a dope producer. I'm a, I'm a realist, I'm not a fool. I hear the music. I know good music when I hear it, but you're still a sucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you make good music, but you're a sucker. You know, what kind of person are you? Mm -hmm. A lot of people today, all they care about is how much money does a person make? Mm -hmm. Then if you criticize somebody, and I'm not saying just hating, I'm saying like you, I, I, I won't even say criticize, I'll say critique a person. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hating. Oh, he could buy you. He got enough money, but he ain't worried about you, man. He got so much money, he ain't worried about you. Yeah. And that's the problem with this society that we're in right now. We're in a society where people base their likes and dislikes, and they create their convictions based off of money. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everything is money. That's right. So I feel like you, you were alluding to it just a few minutes ago. If somebody, if everything you do is based off of money, then you'll do anything. That's why right. you have people out here killing their mothers and fathers, people killing right. their whole families, killing their children. Money. That's right. Selling out their friends they've been knowing all their lives, killing their own friends mm -hmm. for money. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and I, I think, like, once you start going down that path, you know, all of these dudes that say that they real, I say if the first thing you think about is money, 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 then guess what else you'll do for money? That's right. You knees and suck up another man, you'll do it. Man. They'll do man. it. In a heartbeat, they'll do it. Because all they thinking about is money. Right. So they'll get on their knees and eat them up. You know what I'm saying? Better than a woman would. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm no yeah. value, no integrity, no none of that shit. Yeah, man, that's how them dudes get down. That's how they get down. So that, that's what I think. I think I think if Donald Trump stood up in that Oval Office, and I think it's got to be the Oval Office, because you know he'll. I think Kanye would suck Donald Trump up if they were anywhere. But if, in the right. Oval Office, Kanye is like absolutely just totally like wrapped up in that whole presidential thing. So if Donald Trump was to drop his pants in the Oval Office 
and told Kanye, I bet you he'll do it. I, I bet you he'll do it, and he'll do it with other people looking. Mm. I'm telling you, man. I you, made, you, right. you made this an interesting interview, then. Yeah. 